I'm Peter with the F5 security team. Automated attacks are becoming a huge threat to organizations. About half the internet are bots and approximately 30% of those bots are delivering malicious payloads. So let's light up how F5's advanced WAF can help you with bot management, bot mitigation, and protect your infrastructure from the bad bots. So as I mentioned at the top, the internet is approximately about half the internet, 50 to 60% is human traffic. That's us. The other half is automated traffic. So things like machine to machine or APIs, and of course, bots. Within the bot category, you have good bots and bad bots. Now a bot, is essentially any automated program that's designed to do a repetitive task. In the good bot column, you can think of things like web crawlers, search engines, even the chat bots you see on retail and support sites. Good bots play by the rules. You can manage them and determine what type of crawling access they get. The bad bots, on the other hand, they don't play by the rules. They can affect your SEO and affect business intelligence. So some of the things that bad bots can do are things like denial of service attacks. They can certainly do the credential stuffing or account takeover. They can do things like surveillance or vulnerability scans. Uh, they can do brute force attacks. They can do things like web scraping. So intellectual property stealing, stealing your content and presenting it as its own. Certainly the industries now pretty much every industry is affected by bots, but the ones that are primarily associated with money, so financial institutions, gambling sites get hit with the credential stuffing, account takeover a lot, certainly airlines with price matching. Have you ever tried to buy concert tickets and you hit the site right when they go on sale thinking you're gonna get front row and by the time you get your seats, half the arena is gone. Those are all the bots that are doing it. And as I mentioned, they, this can affect your search engine optimization. With ad fraud, they can affect your ad buys. They can certainly affect your business intelligence because you're making business decisions based on a lot of bad traffic. So how does F5's advanced WAF help you mitigate this kind of traffic? Well, first, advanced WAF is a layer seven web application firewall. Protects you against the OWASP top 10, can terminate SSL and TLS, and can certainly do the virtual patching for vulnerabilities you find that you need to protect against until you can fix the code. And so you would bring in advanced WAF. So on top of what I just mentioned, the OWASP top 10 advanced WAF, and as it pertains to bots, can protect you against the OWASP top 20 automated attacks, which many of the bad bots fall into. So let's draw our advanced WAF box. And over here would certainly be your applications and data. So you can try to block bots with IP addresses, but that often doesn't work because they'll just hop to another IP address. You can try to contain them with things like geofencing, but that's not really practical to eliminate an entire country if you're looking to uh, serve that country. Uh, oftentimes bots can evade signature detection. They'll change around how they look. And so it's important to have a multi-layer, multifaceted approach like advanced WAF. So as soon as traffic is coming in, the first thing we'll do is classify, verify, and instantly start mitigating the traffic here. And so first off, we'll do things like 
bot signatures, DNS checks, and certainly check the headers, get the information that we need. Signature detection gets all of the well-known bots, obviously the OWASP top 20, but as I mentioned, bots can be sneaky and avoid signature detection. So after that, we'll do things like browser capabilities. So in here, we're doing things like uh, determining if it's a good bot, a bad bot, a browser, things like that, trying to classify it in. Once we've gone past that and we're into the browser checks, we'll do things like, and as soon as we're doing the browser checks and even right when it connects, we'll give this guy a device ID. So we know the, the device, say it tries something backs off for a little while and comes with a different tactic, we'll know that this is the same device trying some shenanigans again. So then in the browser checks, we'll do things like time zone. We'll check the extensions. Is it typical user extensions? Are the developer extensions? Are they bad guy extensions? We'll do screen size, those sorts of things to determine what kind of tool it is that is trying to access the application. After the browser checks, we'll get a little more uh, specific and we'll do some JavaScript injection since bots typically can't respond to JavaScript. So we'll check the, do a JavaScript kind of check and browser fingerprinting. So we're really starting now, as you can see, we're mitigating traffic, we're eliminating a lot of the stuff along the way. After the browser fingerprinting JavaScript challenges, we can do things like uh, optional CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA. And this is optional, you know, it's that thing where you check the box where I'm not a robot. So you might do it for employees, things like that, but you still wanna have less resistance for your customers and good bots. So this might only be an option for certain situations. Besides, the bots have now beaten capture challenges. You might've seen that meme where the bot says, checks the box that uh, he is not a bot. So all the way up until here, these are essentially passive type of inspections. We're just picking off the stuff that we know and doesn't pass the type of inspections that are, that are being done for this. So none of this type of uh, traffic has reached the application at all. It's all been mitigated right in here. And so after that, right, we will then start to do human challenges. So a little more active checks in the human challenges, now differentiating between tools and humans, we'll do things like mouse movements. Uh, we can do things like keyboard strokes to really determine is this a person or a tool that's sitting behind there. Once we do the human detection, and things are starting to dwindle down. The last little piece is things like anomalies. And so whatever we don't catch in this spot, we'll catch here in the, in the human checks and anomaly checks. And so all of this traffic's coming in and with the mitigations and the checks, only the good traffic comes in. These bad guys use things like compromised IoT devices, compromised routers. They have their own infrastructure. So they're quite adept at trying to avoid a lot of these checks, but because it's multi-layered and multifaceted, not to mention advanced WAF is a full proxy architecture, meaning we terminate the connection, we terminate even SSL, TLS, what have you, right here on the end. And then we can do things like inspect, manipulate, drop traffic. And down here, it's the good traffic. So you're protecting your infrastructure against malicious bots. 
your business intelligence, certainly make better business decisions because you're making the decisions based on good traffic versus bad traffic. We can certainly protect against uh, APIs and credential stuffing and many of the bad stuff from these bad guys trying to hit your application. So this certainly reduces your infrastructure costs because you're eliminating a lot of the bad traffic too. So within, after, not after, really, depending on your settings here and your policy, of course, you can have a relaxed policy where it's performance over security. You can have a balanced policy where equal weight for both, or you can have a strict policy where security over performance. And then within that, you can determine things like, do I, do I want to just have an alert? Do I want to report on it? Or do I just want to flat out block it? It also helps your security operations center because they're not chasing down a lot of false positives or a lot of these bot alerts anymore. And it allows them to focus on the critical security incidents. If you'd like to learn more about F5's bot management solution, please visit f5.com forward slash bots. And on our bot management page, there's an option there. You can test this out for free on AWS. So you can check it out right there on f5.com forward slash bots. I am Peter. I hope this helped, and we'll see you next time on The Lightboard.